Hello friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Bobberi Engineers. Our today's topic is Star Delta Forward Reverse Starter. In this video we learn about the power and control wiring of Star Delta Forward Reverse Starter along with its working. First we discuss about its power wiring. Its main power components are MCB Main Forward Contactor Main Reverse Contactor Always remember that required ampere of Main Forward and Reverse Contactor are calculated according to line current. Delta Contactor Star Contactor Requirement of Delta and Star Contactor are calculated according to phase current. Thermal Overload Relay Load of thermal overload relay is also calculated according to phase current. 3 phase induction motor. Let's look at its power diagram. Normal star delta and forward reverse starter video are also available in my YouTube channel. According to drawing forward and reverse contactor are connected in line current. Thermal overload relay, delta and star contactor are connected in phase current. Main MCB are connected in series with whole circuit. Let's make a connection according to drawing. First connect MCB input with R, Y and B phase supply. After that connect MCB output with both forward main and reverse main contactor. Remember that phase sequence should not change during power wiring of star delta forward reverse starter. Then follow the drawing step by step and make connection. Like forward and reverse starter power wiring interchange any two phase in main contactor output. After that connect main contactor output with overload relay and delta contactor. Type the connection properly. Then connect relay output with motor terminal U1, V1 and W1. Always check the motor terminal plate carefully. In last connect output of delta and star contactor with motor terminal U2, V2 and W2. Also short the input of star contactor with other terminal. Our power wiring is complete, move next to control wiring circuit. Subscribe the channel for latest technical videos. Control wiring circuit. First we discuss about terminals of control components. On delay timer. NO element for start push button. NC element for stop push button. We also use one NO spare auxiliary block for forward main and reverse main contactor. 13 and 14 are NO point of contactor. 21 and 22 are NC point of contactor. 53 and 54 are NO point of contactor. A 1 and A2 are contactor supply. 95 and 96 are NC point of thermal overload relay. Now look at its control diagram. Overload relay and stop push button are connected in series with whole circuit. Both forward main and reverse main contactor are connected in parallel. Interlock circuit is also used between forward reverse contactor and star delta contactor. Both NO and NC contact of on delay timer are used in this circuit. Let's start wiring step by step. First connect control phase in series with overload relay and stop push button. After that connect it with both start push button and both main contactor NO point. Like forward and reverse starter. Connect start push button output with contactor NO and NC point. 
After that connect supply with forward and reverse contactor coil. Then connect supply with on delay timer coil and its common point. Fifteen number terminal is common. Sixteen number terminal is NC and eighteen is NO in on delay timer. Connect NC point of timer with delta contactor NC point and NO point of timer with start contactor NC point. After that connect simply with star and delta contactor coil. In last connect neutral with all contactor and timer coil. Control wiring is complete. Its working is like that. When we push forward start button, motor run in forward direction. Reverse start button is used for run motor in reverse direction. Stop button work in both forward and reverse direction, because it is connected in series with whole circuit. Always remember that make a proper time gap between the operation of forward and reverse direction. Video related to star delta starter calculation are coming soon. Thanks for watching the video and press the bell icon for latest technical updates.